We've got wide receiver Kiki QT with us, and the smile is back. The confidence looks like it's back as well. Kiki, what's different about you these last four or five weeks? What's going on? Uh, I'm just I'm still the same guy, most importantly. You know, just uh, just being able to stick to my routine, sticking to being myself, and just uh, continuing to work every single day just to get 1% better. So uh, just to be, uh, be able to be back out there the last three weeks has been uh, very big to me, and I just continue to hope to continue to improve. Yeah, how do you keep that that confidence up? How do you keep from getting discouraged? Because you were clearly ready to take advantage when opportunity called, and you never really got down, or at least you never got down enough to keep you from making an impact when you came back. Yeah, just what I, just like I said before, you know, just trusting in my abilities and believing in who I am, as I've always done uh, throughout this career of football so far. So, you know, just um, just continue to work. You know, um, bad things happen. You know, you learn from those mistakes. So. Just everything just continues to go forward. You get the 141 yards on Sunday against the Colts, and we just heard from Deshaun Watson earlier in the week. He said, hey, that's not, that's not all he can do. He, he can even go higher. What's it like when you hear your quarterback say that? Because he said, and Kiki will tell you that too. Right. Uh, it just shows uh, how much confidence he has in me. You know, uh, I feel like maybe I could get more, you know, but, you know, uh, just making the routine plays and getting the Ws is what's most important to me. All right. What have you seen differently from your quarterback this year? He's spreading the ball around, and he's been very, very effective. It's just simply a matter of he's taking what the defense has given him. Right. No doubt. You know, he's taking control of our offense. You know, he's the um, he's the quarterback for a reason. You know, he's uh, a lot of things slowed down for him. You know, he's picking out different coverages and getting us some great looks against defense. So this year he's done tremendous, just like in the past years. You know, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. All right. The Chicago Bears are the opponent on Sunday. Tell me about the secondary you're going to be matched up with. Uh, that's a good secondary. You know, uh, good, good front seven, uh, great uh, defense um, that we'll play against uh, this, uh, this season. So, um, you know, we're f uh, familiar with Tashawn, you know, uh, Eddie Jackson's back there, uh, Kyle Full, you know, guys that got a lot of good talent, you know, but we have uh, talent on our side as well. So we'll be ready for this Sunday as well. All right, let's talk a little bit about special teams. You've been returning some punts. How crazy do you have to be to return a punt or a kickoff? Uh, you got to be a little crazy, you know, just to take those hits, you know, with those big guys flying down there 100 miles an hour. So, you know, you got to be a tough guy for that, you know. But it's just something, you know, that helps me just show another element of my game that I can take to the next level. All right, it's going to be a little chilly on Sunday, and there's always going to be wind in Chicago, but it's not going to be a problem for you. You played your college ball in Lubbock, so you're set for that, right? R right, yeah, I was, I'm preparing for the wind. So, I love it, you know, 30 mile an hour wind, that's on things like that, but. Never been to Chicago, you know, so I'm a Texas kid, not used to the cold weather, you know, but I get accustomed to it. You'll be fine, man. You're, uh, you're Red Raider tough, so it'll be, it'll be all yeah, right. Sir. All right, Kiki QT, we appreciate the time. Best of luck on Sunday. Best of luck the rest of the way. Can't wait to talk with you again very, very soon. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.